What's going on guys? Welcome to another SQL in Python tutorial video. Where we left off, we actually made the database. Now let's go ahead and make a table, uh, give the parameters of that table, and then even uh, maybe insert some data into that table. So, uh, the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is let's let's um, let's do show databases. This should get a good idea where we are again. So as you can see, we've got that default, and then we've got tutorial. We want to go into tutorial, so we're going to say use, and then whatever your username is, mine's beginner account, dollar sign, and then the table name. Mine was tutorial. So now it's going to say database change. So now you're in that database. Now you could use describe and see what it is, but it's going to be empty for now. So now what we want to do is create a table uh, in that database. So to create a table, you're going to go create table, then give the table name, mine's going to be uh, Taula, and cookies for whoever figures it out. Now the next thing is you want to give the names of the columns and then the data types of those columns. So we're going to say uh, the first column is going to be time, so we're going to just gonna throw a Unix time in here. Now a lot of people what they're going to do is make the first column an auto incrementing um, or a self incrementing key, and that's going to be their primary key. For me, look, I mean, I use time series data for everything, so I just use the time in Unix form as the first column, uh, and that's my own little auto incrementing key. Uh, if you want to be official and uh, you know use everyone's pro tip, you can make an auto incrementing key if you want. I'm just notifying you that that's I'm making the uh, conscious decision not to. So time, time is going to be an int, and then we're going to allow it to be 13 long, just simply because it. it um, like normally it's like I think 11 something characters but we're just gonna throw like some random numbers in there so the next thing that we're going to do is once we've defined uh, time we're gonna go ahead and say the next column is a username column uh, and the username column we're gonna make that a var car and that's just gonna be a variable character so if you just made it like car it would require um, that the data in that column would always be 20 long, uh, whereas if you make it var car, it doesn't have to be 20 long, it can be 5 long, and it won't like force it to still be 20. So we'll use var car there, and then the next column we're going to make it a tweet, and then we're going to do the same thing, var car, and with a max of, of course, 140. So that's how you create the table, so let's go ahead and throw out our little semicolon here, all you poor Python programmers, man, you have a hard time with SQL. Anyway, query okay, zero rows affected, of course, because no rows were actually affected. So now we're done. So now, um, just as a quick aside, other data types, you can have a date, text, blob, set, enum, uh, and also float. And they're pretty much all the same as far as their data type. Uh, float's the only funky one where the first digit or the first number represents like how many digits there are, and the second one represents how many uh, decimal points. But anyway, uh, maybe we'll talk about that later, but for now we'll keep it basic. So now what we can do, uh, once we've done that, is, uh, well, we've got the table made, so the first thing you can do is a command called show tables, uh, so we can see Taula is indeed there, and then we can also uh, describe Taula and figure out like what this table is all about. So there's this little description of the table, all the fields, the type, null, if they're a primary key or not, default, extra, if they have auto incrementing, etc. So that's that. Now our goal is eventually uh, to do all of these uh, SQL queries within Python and all that, but there's going to be some times where, one, you want to know how to do it by hand. Um, also, every query that you write within Python is going to be an SQL query, so it's going to be the same stuff we're writing out right now. The only difference is if you want to say you want to write a variable, there will be a little subtle change, um, but nothing, nothing uh, too difficult um, to make the shift for. Plus, whenever you do, especially like deletes, Sometimes I prefer to do a delete by hand, uh, especially if it's like a tricky one. So it's, you just want to know this stuff. So anyway, um, not wasting your time. Insert uh, into, uh, and that's going to put data into a table. And now you need to say what table. So we're going to say Taula, or my table, whatever you called yours. You can call it whatever. Values. And then in here, we're going to insert the values in the order of column. Now again, later this will change whenever we insert instead of you know hard-coded values, variables, but for now we'll just write it out. So we're going to just um, put data in here like this. 
Now, in here, this is an int, so there are going to be no uh, quotations around what we say. So we're going to say 13854199969 as a Unix timestamp. That's that. Next is our username. And our username here is just going to be uh, sentdex. And then we're going to say a tweet. Uh, and this will be uh, welcome to my tutorial. And as always, don't forget your semicolon, because you will. Query OK, one row affected, all set. So now what we can do uh, is let's insert a couple more things. So I'm just going to, uh, to make it easy, um, hit this. We'll change it. We'll say this occurs uh, one second later, so the end will be 70. We'll still use the name Sentdex. And the tweet, we'll change up the tweet. <coughs> This tweet will be, um, these are all real tweets, by the way. Wow, thanks, at Obama. You are right, these tutorials rock. His words, not mine. Uh, so that's another one. And then finally, let's do one more tweet just to give us uh, some data to work with. So one more second later. I got this tweet from a, another guy. You guys might know him. Um, and this one is at Bill Gates. Uh, thanks, Bill. Uh, I know him on a first name basis. Oh, I respect him, though, so I'll capitalize his name. Uh, thanks, Bill, for the job offer as VP. Uh, but I want to keep uh, ops open. So that's my tweet back to him. He offered me a vice president job. Anyway, uh, done. Query done. So now we're done. So now uh, if we want to see our data, we can run a select command here. And we'll just say select uh, asterisk for select all from. Uh, and then we want to select that from Taula. And now we can see the, the uh, contents of our database. So the first one was welcome. Next one was me chit-chatting with Obama and just saying he's right in his thoughts. And the next the final line was me uh, turn down Bill Gates' job offer. So... Um, those are just the basics of creating the database or creating the table rather and then inserting some data into that table. Now in the next video I'm going to be talking about how to make some updates to this table. Uh, in, uh, not any more inserting but updating, deleting and retrieving data. So anyway stay tuned for that video. As always thanks for watching, thanks for the support and the subscriptions and until next time.